All right, guys, so here's another one from Pew Pew with Drew. And I'm going to show y'all today the KUSA CMC trigger. There's not many videos on it, so I'm just showing y'all how it looks from the factory, how you get it once it's shipped to you. This is the 3.5 pound one, and I'm going to be installing it on a KP9. So let's get to it. So here we have the ALG AKTEL trigger. I'm going to show you the trigger pull. And then now I'm going to show you the creep a couple times. So there's me pulling it, showing you how much it is. Creep, and then the snap. It's a little sloppy. It's all right. It's not too crisp, but you know, it could be better. All right, so first we're gonna disassemble the gun. We're gonna pull that, string, that spring straight back, and then we're gonna drop the trigger, and we're gonna grab that bolt and pull it straight back and pull it up, put that to the side. All right, now we're gonna lift the safety and wiggle it to come straight out like that. And then we're gonna take this little shit off that holds in the pins. Just pull it up and then pull back. All right, now we're gonna get some pliers and pull our trigger spring up and we're gonna put it on the hammerhead as so. And you wanna be careful when you're doing this cause it's easy for it to slip and slam. The reason mine looks a little different than y'all's is cause I have the, um, the ALG um, heavy spring on it. I was having some light primer strikes with the regular spring. So we're gonna do the other side. And you want to put a rubber band once you put those springs on that hammerhead. And then right here, we're pulling out that trigger pin. Just kind of got to push down on the trigger and it'll pop right out. Make sure you don't do the same mistake I just did right here. I didn't put my hand and it flew out. So, you know. All right. Now you can take that trigger out, throw it to the side, and then make sure you take out this little spring. And once we throw that spring to the side, now you're going to take that hammer pin out. Just pull straight out. Then you're gonna grab the hammer, twist it, and pull straight up. So I'm just showing you how the trigger looks, giving you a little walk around. All right, guys, so we're gonna disassemble this so we can put it in the KP9. So both of these tabs right here that I'm pointing at, they're uh, spring-loaded, so you're gonna see me push that spring and kind of push up on the trigger. It's a pain in the ass, so I just cut all that film out, but. You know, just press one side, lift it up, press the other side, lift it up, as you can see. And then once you get that out, now we're going to put the base of the trigger into the gun. So just slide it in there, and then you're going to put that hammer pin in there. And you kind of got to wiggle and play with it, you know, like you wish your wife would do every night, but she never does. So now you're going to take the trigger, you're going to drop it in there. And remember those two spring-loaded tabs? You're just going to get like a flat head and press on one side and then kind of wiggle it in there. Press on the other side, wiggle it in there. And you want to make sure that it actually snaps in. I made that mistake of thinking it was in the first time and it really wasn't. So just double check, make sure it's in there. So now I'm putting that little shit that holds the pins back in. They do give you a little hug, but I don't see why you can't use the one that already comes with the KP9. So yeah, I'm just putting it in, dropping it down. And then I'm going to get the safety, slide the safety in and kind of play with it till it goes in the little groove and then drop that safety down. So I didn't show it on the video, but you want to make sure that you slide in that trigger pin. And it's real simple. It's just like the hammer pin just goes from one side to the other. And once that's installed, all you have left to do is the three little bolts. You got to tighten them and I'll show that in the next part. But this is how the trigger looks once it's in place. So just showing y'all how everything looks. So here are those little bolts that you got to screw in that I was telling you about. So I'm just showing me tightening them down. And you want to make sure you tighten them until there's no more slack. So you got one in the back and then two in the front. There's one right there on the left side and then one right there on the right side. And you want to make sure they're all tight as much as they can be and keeping that trigger in place. So now we're going to function test. So it's on safe. Now we're going to drop that safety and boom, the hammer comes back. So we're good. All right, guys. So now we're going to reassemble the gun. We want to put our bolt back in. Just drop it. Make sure it's on the grooves. Slide it forward. Now we're going to get the spring. Put that in. Make sure it slides on the back as it's supposed to. And then we're going to close that dust cover. Now here's the trigger pull. It's pretty crisp. We're going to rack it. And you're going to see the reset. Now you're going to see the pull. There you go. Reset again. It's a little creep. And then snap right after the creep. And that's all, folks. Thanks for watching.